Wow. Yeah. Good little wow. Recoil. Good little recoil. Using a full rifle barrel, this gave the balls a little bit of a spread, yet both of them hit the water jugs. Now bear in mind, these are designed to be shot through a smooth bore, but we wanted to show what happened when you used full rifling. Now let's see if there's any difference using a smooth bore. I only saw one ball in on the high speed. I had it zoomed in too tight. But uh, it only takes one <laughs> one of these to hit you. Yeah. Can't quite get a peek in there. <laughs> yes, there is a big difference. Both balls are flying together in this shot. They are not spread apart at this point. Now this was at 17 yards, and later on in this video we'll show how much spread you get at 50 yards. Okay, wet towel. Back by popular demand. Smooth bore. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, hit it. Man, those got a good kick. Accurate. Th yeah. that, that one, those the balls stayed perfectly together for whatever reason. Point of aim, point of impact. Yeah. Once again, through a smooth bore at 17 yards, and this time you can see the two balls flying together. But we definitely see consistency here and good quality control. It's looking good for these things, actually. Okay, what, what's your what's your uh, objective here? Uh, yeah, <laughs> we got three cans of cream corn. I'm gonna see if I can take out the middle one. Okay, a lot of people like cream corn. I've learned. Uh, Twelve yards, thirty-six feet. What's that? About seventy-six, seventy-eight cabbages. I yeah, I get those cabbages mixed up. Okay, can you hit the middle one? Wow, this thing's really, really thumb. Very impressive shooting. You hit the center one. I think the balls stay together again. No damage on the other two. I think they did because I only see. I only saw one ball flying in, in high speed. You can see where it went through right there. Yep. <laughs> yeah. See, these, these are these are pretty awesome. Cream that corn, cream the can. Yeah, only hit the the can. He was you hit it very centered too. Very impressive shooting by Danny. I don't know. I had my eyes closed. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Danny became very confident in these rounds. We had excellent accuracy, consistency, no spread at all at 17 yards. These are definitely made for a smooth bore. You saw the results with a rifled barrel. We had a much wider spread at 17 yards with the rifled barrel. And I think at 50 yards, there would be so much spread that there's a good chance you'd actually miss the target. Okay, I think these deserve a 50 yard attempt. Through the smooth bore, no sights. Just a bead sight. And Danny behind the trigger. Where'd the best go? <laughs> Did you catch it? Caught that one. And it wasn't on camera. <laughs> Up in there. Yeah. One moment we saw the vest and the next minute it was gone. Yeah, it's like magic. Well, I was aiming a little bit high. I was anticipating a little bit of drop, and I guess I shouldn't have because it did a little bit high. But yeah, no drop at all. One of the balls fell out. Yeah, both of them are flying inches apart. I saw that. Pretty accurate round for 50 yards, right in the center. Lots of energy. You saw it had just pulled that vest right through that plastic jug. And that, it's not brittle or anything, you know. Yeah, that's, uh, 
almost rubber. Yeah. It is plastic. But. There's a there's an exit hole there. Maybe one of them went went out the other side. But you, you found one ball, right? Found one. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. That one definitely hit the vest. You can see the fibers on there. That's some good shooting, Danny. I think people are gonna like, hey. Well, if it hit high, then it was probably hitting my point of aim at 50 yards, because I was anticipating a little bit of drop. Yeah. And uh, we think that was it was very close to 50 yards. It could have been 51 or 49 or something like that. Because why? Because your batteries went out on your your rangefinder. I hate batteries. Did I ever mention that? 132 and a half cabbages. Yeah. Well, there you go. Looks like a, a pretty decent round. I would. I think it'll take care of them. What do you think it'll do to a hog? I think it'll roll them over. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Now, even at 50 yards with a smooth bore, we had excellent control of the spread. What is that? Maybe two inch wide spread? That's pretty good. That's like flight control good. We had five of these to test out. We showed you all five and showed you the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.